Hey gang, welcome to the Cross-Eyed Texan and as promised we're going to start doing some more shave videos. This shave is brought to you by Jake from Kansas City. Um, I was going to continue going through the stockpile of stuff that I had, but I realized I need to do a shave with some of the stuff Jake sent me. And we're using the Parasso, um, I guess you'd call it Parasso Blue with uh, vitamin E and aloe. And I'm going to do something that I almost never do and that's use a pre-shave I've only done it once and we are back with the uh, Emperor Magi razor and I don't know what it is and I got this one set on four this time I want to see how it works and I don't want to do a complete cold shave The water at least needs to be warm for me. And I have settled on the only American made razor blade that there is. And the name escapes me all of a sudden and I just looked it up. Dink. Persona. As far as I know, Persona is the only American-made razor blade. And I want to do something that might be a little more comfortable. But we're going to find out. You know what? I'm going to put this back on five where I had it last time. Forgive me, I've got to get very close to this. One of the reasons I like this razor blade, or this razor blade, this particular razor, this particular adjustable, is I can see the numbers on it. I can't always do that with everything else. Okay. Let me make sure I got it set. There we go. Number five. I'm going to lock it down. Well, let's put the blade in first, mister. Mr. Chris. Now I've heard a lot of people saying that as they use this razor, there's a little bit of wobble and stuff. Right now, I see zero wobble in this thing. And the reveal looks pretty good. Looks pretty consistent. So I'm all right with that. I'm using my $15 brush, best badger brush that I got from good old Amazon for this shave. I have a $70 silver tip up in this cabinet right here. I can't stand it. It just falls over too quick. And we're going to use this for uh, afterwards. I want to see how this stuff is. I used this once a long time ago, over two years ago. So I actually had to break out the bowl. And that should be enough. I'm going to use more than I need. Because I like to play in it. <laughs> How is everybody doing? We are getting a slight reprieve from the uh, heat here in Texas. And I'm super excited about it. It's in the lower 90s, and that's that's fabulous for this time of year in, in Dallas-Fort Worth. Let's uh, make us a ladder. I noticed that, that they don't make this in a puck. Can get some more water. There we go. That just exploded when I added some more water to it. It has a weird smell. It almost has no smell. It almost smells like medicine. I got a question for you guys in the comments. My face gets more irritated in the summertime than it does in the wintertime. How about you guys? My face gets way more irritated in the summertime. Wet the face here.
get my trusty rusty towel um prep for my face good old hardcore face scrub in the shower i like to shave about five or ten minutes i got the wrong bottle i like to shave about five or ten minutes after i get out of the shower but i'm thoroughly convinced that a clean scrubbed exfoliated face is one of the best places to start all right i'm not gonna overdo it with this feels slick I hope that it helps me where I need it. And that's right there and on my dang old neck. Hmm. It feels interesting. All right, here we go. We'll put a little water on my brush. I want to thank Jake once again for sending me all these products. It's one of the first times any of my subscribers have sent me anything, and I appreciate it. I also wanted to say thanks for the generally positive comments on the video I did about, uh, about the fake Latin phrase, illegitimate non carbonandum. <laughs> I just don't like snobs. I just don't. I, I collect watches too, and don't worry, I'm not going to start doing watch videos. I may show you one from time to time, but that's going to be about it. But, you know, I don't care if all you like is Timex. If, if that's what you enjoy, buy it and have a blast. But I think we should be encouraging people, not saying, oh, you don't have a Bentworth automatic watch that was made in 1923 on the lap of a virgin in Cuba. So you don't really have a watch collection. Oh, well, go away. That's what I say. All right. Enough of the bad accents. <laughs> Let's start shaving. Wow, look at that. It's gross. How do you guys shave? Do you go from side to side and meet in the middle or you go all the way across? I like to go side to side and meet in the middle. I have a friend of mine. It's a guy I went, rent a room from and he's got a logical reason for everything. Sometimes I just do stuff. So tell me how you shave. You go from left to right and then kind of meet in the middle or you uh, go all the way around. I would like to do a live chat thing, but I can't see none of the chats to do it. Somebody suggested that I do that. And somebody suggested that I have some type of Q&A. Now that I could do in the community tab and I could answer the questions then. There's a lot of questions about what's wrong with my eyes and I certainly don't mind answering those questions, especially if they're asked respectfully. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Come here. Don't tell anybody. But I think I kind of like pre-shave. I may have to start using it. Especially this aloe and vitamin E. I don't want anything that's flavored, so to speak. Shh. Don't, don't tell anybody. All right. Wipe this off my face and check. Man, <laughs> on a five, this thing is a monster. 
Missed a little bit right there, but I'll get that on the second pass. Great gumballs, man. This is a fantastic little razor. So far, I've had no problems with it. And I know that there can be problems with things, but sometimes I think people like to make stuff up. You know what I mean? I played Squire basses for a long time. I actually own a Squire five string right now. It's, a, it's one of the modified, it's got the new electronics and stuff in it. And people talked about how bad they were. I played S Squire basses and my buddy Kurt played Squire basses for a long time. And neither one of us had a lick of problems out of any of them. So it makes me wonder if people, well, let's not say they're making stuff up. Let's say they're embellishing. <laughs> uh, I think embellishing might be a fancy word for lying. I'm going to mix this back up again. I'm using my trusty, I love this bowl right here. This is the fine accoutrements bowl. And I like it because there's a place to put your uh, brush so it doesn't fall over on your counter. And I like that. I don't know if it's the um, pre-shave that's making this stuff feel slick. It might be a combination of the two. But so far, man, I'm digging it. Tonight is Wednesday night. It's time that I go to uh, recovery, of which I've been blessed to have a leadership role is in. I've been mentoring a man and... Uh, co-leading a group. I'm blessed by the fact that I get a chance to turn around and give back. I mean, honestly, that's what you're supposed to do if you're getting in a live boat and a ship's going down. You don't just get in and sit your happy ass down. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry I said what I said. You don't just get in and set yourself down. You turn around and start helping other people into the boat. Sorry. This razor does a great job on my neck. I don't know why, but it does a better job than any other razor I have on my neck. And I have about nine. I think I just got a weeper. I think I felt that. I like this stuff, but there's not a lot of residual slickness to it. I, I can tell that. Okay. I want to go back, and this is the part that scared Hey, you know what I can do? I forgot I have an adjustable razor in my hand. I'm going to turn that down a little bit to four and I'm going to wet this brush up really good and go under here and get this. I 
I think just a couple of passes right there. And uh, think we have a winner all right all right I have to reach under the sink to drain it because I yanked too hard on the top part and it came off in my hand and I've been too lazy to fix it <laughs> Got me right there. Got me right there. I can feel it. That's going to be fun when I hit that with the Allen block. Alright, so let's uh, hit it with the Razor Rock Allen Block. If you guys haven't bought one of these, you can probably get it anywhere, but I got mine on Amazon. And it is my favorite Allen Block. Because it hasn't fallen apart. Ooh, that stings just a little bit. A little bit. If you're over 50 and you remember when you'd skin your knee, that stuff your mom would put on there that just stung like the dick, like the dickens. That's what that stuff reminds me of. Great God Almighty. What was it called? Campho Fanique or something like that? I don't remember what it was. Mercurochrome. Hey. Once again, this inexpensive razor has done a fantastic job. And it has not been any of the things that people say that it has. So far, it's held up. I mean, I've only got two shaves. Jake, if you're watching this, tell me how many shaves you got off this razor before you send it to me. And I'm probably going to be sending this back to you pretty quick. Not because I don't like it, because I want my own. And I'm going to create a new segment about shaving gear called long-term test. And this is going to go into the long-term test. And we're going to see if this is the uh, Yugo of razors or it's actually a Toyota Corolla. It's a handsome looking razor, man. All right. So we're going to put the lid back on this stuff right here. I think this may get incorporated into my shave routine with certain soaps um i don't i don't feel like i need it on all the soaps that i have because some of the soaps that i have are incredibly slick Ooh, i like the way this smells right here i have got some cologne that smells very similar to this man that's it these are this is great stuff the uh the parasso aloe and vitamin e this is great stuff i like it man thank you guys for watching my videos i appreciate it and um if you enjoyed it like the video help get me up in the algorithm i've got a fragrance video i'm going to try to get out before i leave for uh recovery tonight and i just really appreciate it 
running this little channel right here is very very cathartic for me it gives me something to do i'm learning we're all learning together so thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel and remember don't just take care of yourself take care of somebody else that's where the real joy is god bless you guys talk to you later